welcome to the electricity for HVAC simulator. We're going to begin with the wiring diagrams module and we're going to start with the window air conditioner in this short video and I'm going to show you some of the features here. Um, to begin with, this is just a basic window air conditioner. We have two electrical loads here. We have a fan motor which operates both the condenser fan and the evaporator fan or indoor fan. This is a dual shaft motor so when the motor runs it turns both of those fans. In addition we have the compressor down here which obviously provides our cooling. Some of the features we can look at here to start with we have this three position selector switch right here which allows us to operate fan only or full cooling. Now in the fan only mode um, just the fan motor will run and this is used for general indoor air quality filtration of the air primarily. Um, we can set this switch by using this little system switch bar down here at the bottom left. So currently it's in the off position, but if we click the fan only, we can see that the switch closes between line voltage and the fan motor, and we can see the fan motor lights up indicating that it's energized. In addition, we can turn it to the on position, which will close contacts to both the fan motor and to the compressor circuit. Now currently we see the compressor is not on because the thermostat uh, is in series to it and the thermostat is not cooling for cooling currently. But that can be adjusted simply by doing one of two things. You can set the system thermostat here by clicking the down arrow and setting the temperature below the space temperature set point which is currently at 81 degrees and we see when this happens that the thermostat closes and our compressor lights up indicating that it's energized. Another way to do this would be to use the space temperature slider and you can move that down or up to open or close the contacts. Another really great feature is the digital multimeter over here and you can just click on that icon and I've already taken it out of the toolbox. Click it to AC volts, click on the leads to pick them up and you can measure voltage at any of the red glowing hotspots. So if we wanted to measure line voltage going to the window air conditioner we can simply drop the leads on these glowing hotspots and we can see that we've got 120 volts there. To check voltage to a load we can simply drop the leads at the load. For this example I'm going to use the fan motor and we drop the leads at the glowing hotspots of the fan motor and we do in fact have 120 volts to the fan motor. If we turn the system switch back to off we can see when the switch opens that there's no voltage present now at the fan motor and the fan motor would in fact turn off. This multimeter can also be used for checking the switches. So for example, let's check this fan switch which is currently open. If we put the meter leads across it, we'll have a difference in potential, meaning we have 120 volts of potential in but zero out. And the way a voltmeter works is it actually reads the difference in potential um, from one lead to the other. Now again, if we close the fan switch, we should have 120 here and 120 here, which would mean there would be a difference of zero. So let's see what happens. We click fan only, and there we go. We can see that we've got zero volts of potential there. Each of the wiring diagrams can be operated in the training mode, which I would suggest when you're first getting used to using the simulator, or you can use the challenge mode. Click on this tab over here and you can launch challenge mode. In the challenge mode, you can select faults to see what would happen if you had a faulty component. This tab right here with the X on it, click on that and you can select the faults. For example, if we've got a faulty compressor and we put that fault in, we can then go back with the meter, we're going to turn the selector switch to the on position, and we notice that even though the fan switch is closed to both the fan motor and the compressor, and the thermostat's closed, the compressor is not operating. This indicates we have a problem. Now this problem could potentially be in this switch position right here, going to the compressor. It could be a faulty thermostat, but we know we've selected the compressor. If we click on the, me the meter again, and click to AC volts, and we drop the leads across the glowing hot spots at the compressor, we can see that we have in fact 120 volts going to the compressor and it's not operating so this indicates we have a compressor malfunction. In addition on challenge mode you can launch the quizzes to see how you did. Okay, If you click on this star right here at the top left, you can start the quiz and it'll give you a series of questions. If you earn a score of 90% or above, you'll receive a badge. Good luck. Hey, it is Craig with Interplay Learning. We hope you enjoyed this last video. 
The easiest way to keep up with all of our latest videos is by subscribing to our page right here. Just to let you know, if you're interested to learn how simulations are critical to onboarding and improving you or your employees' performance in the field, please visit us at interplay-learning.com.